angry gecko. <laughs> it's probably hard to shock us at this point. With the internet at our fingertips, there's very little we haven't seen or can't immediately look up and verify for ourselves. The constant barrage of information and content thrown at us has pretty much numbed us to what should be weird or shocking. Well, if you think you've seen it all, this video is for you. Welcome back to Forever Green, where today we're going to look at 15 animals you'll see for the first time. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number 15, the mouse deer. The silver-backed charretain, or the mouse deer, is about the size of a large rabbit with a silver sheen on its rump. It was photographed tiptoeing through a dry lowland forest in southern Vietnam in 2019. The last known sighting of this animal was back in 1990, when a hunter killed it and donated the specimen to scientists. We have recently learned that the creature also has tusk-like incisors, visible only in the new photographs taken last year. Because they don't have horns or antlers, and the fangs are especially long in males, researchers believe the males use them to compete for territory and mates. The researchers behind the discovery say they hope it will lead to better protection for the species, which is threatened by the use of wire snares. Number 14. Schmidt's Spot-Nosed Gyanun Hmm, try saying that five times fast. Gyanuns are monkeys, known for their enormous cheek pouches that they stuff with food they opportunistically forage. They will then actually consume the bounty from their recent looting in a retreat far away, safe from predators. They mainly eat fruits and small animals. It's rare to spot them. Firstly, they only live in Middle Africa, and even when you're there, you need to go to a specific observation deck to be able to find them. Sadly, they are gradually becoming endangered due to deforestation and overexploitation through hunting and predation. Number 13. Spot a Gannett Gannets have long bodies, a long ring tail, large ears, pointed muzzle, and claws. They may appear very cat-like, but in truth, they are related closer to mongooses. Their fur is spotted, and all genet species have a dark stripe along the spine. Even if they differ in color and spot pattern, you'll generally find them perched on top of large animals like rhinos, eating the insects off their backs. Rhinos also offer an excellent vantage point for this nocturnal animal to scan for their prey, which could be as small as an insect or as big as a baby antelope. Number 12. Garden Eels The spotted garden eel is a strange little species that looks like a rubber pencil. They are found throughout the tropical and subtropical waters of the Indo-Pacific and have also been spotted off the coast of Australia in the Timor Sea, the Coral Sea, and the Great Barrier Reef. These small eels live in burrows on the sea floor. They might look like loners, but they're social animals, known for congregating in massive, tightly knit colonies and get their name from their practice of poking their heads from their burrows while most of their bodies remain hidden, making the many eel heads growing from the seafloor resemble the plants in a garden. Number 11, the quokka. You can't look at this little guy and not smile. This popular marsupial is found in Rottnest Island. Around 10,000 quokkas live in Rottnest Island today. Its small populations also live in the mainland's southwest forests, such as those near Northcliffe. The Rottnest Island population is pretty much accustomed to humans. And recently, quokka selfies have become very popular with tourists. Look at how cute they are. Even stars like Roger Federer and Chris Hemsworth have taken pictures with them. I might book a flight just to get a selfie with this adorable little thing. If you think that's the best we got, keep watching. We have 10 more incredible, never seen before animals to show you. And number one is going to blow your mind. Number 10, Ocean Sunfish. Resembling a big floating blob, the mola or ocean sunfish is the world's largest bony fish. They develop this odd shape because their back fins just never grow. 
It folds onto itself as it matures, creating a rounded rudder called a clavis. Mola in Latin means millstone, and it describes the fish's circular shape. Mola are found in tropical oceans around the world and can often be seen basking in the sun near the surface. Although they are sometimes mistaken for sharks when their dorsal fins emerge above the water, their teeth are fused into a beak-like structure and they are unable to fully close their small mouths. Boy, they really got the short end of the stick, didn't they? Number 9. Angola Colobus This very wise-looking primate, with a body built for tree-hopping acrobatics, thrives in a variety of forest types and is adapted to a life lived almost exclusively in the tree canopy. They consume leaves that are too toxic for any other animal and have a multi-chambered stomach with enzymes to break it all down. The Angolan colobus is one of the Central Africa's five known species of black and white colobus and has a fragmented range that extends from Nigeria to Tanzania. They have a striking black and white coat and long silky white hair that frames their black faces and drapes their shoulders. And have tails that fade from black to white halfway down. Number 8. The Alligator Lizard Alligator lizards range from a gorgeous teal blue to a deep green, and have pale yellow bellies and a yellow ring around their eyes. The males tend to be more vibrant than females, while the juveniles are paler and marked with dark, lateral stripes. They are native to the states of Veracruz and Pueblo in Mexico, and live only in trees, usually 130 feet above the forest floor. They are inclined to bite if provoked. So only calm and experienced keepers tend to keep these lizards. They also have very specific captive care requirements. Talk about a diva. Before we look at number one, we have a quick challenge for you. In the next five seconds, we want you to go ahead and subscribe to the Forever Green channel and hit that bell icon to get notified anytime we upload a new video and we guarantee your 2021 will be amazing. Go on, try it, it really works. Number seven, Lady Amherst's pheasants. Look at that bird strut. He knows how good he looks. This gorgeous bird is found only in the forested areas, bamboo thickets, and dense shrubby areas of Southwest China and Burma. Adult males have a dark bluish-green mantle, back, and breast, with black scales and the rump is buffy yellow and bluish-green. A superb black-scaled neck ruff adds a tuft of class to the bird's appearance. And it's this neck ruff that is put on full display in order to attract a mate. But for the most part, they're very shy and rarely seen outside of thick covers. They like to isolate themselves in the mountains sometimes at 2,100 to 3,600 meters of elevation. It's no wonder we haven't seen them before. Number six, California leaf-nosed bat. Fun fact, California leaf-nosed bats usually use their sense of sight, unlike other bats that use echolocation when they are foraging. They resort to echolocation only in total darkness. Their hearing is so good, in fact, that they can even hear the footsteps of a cricket. They are the only bats in North America that catch caterpillars and are among the very few insect-eating bats that supplement their diets with cactus fruit. Another thing that sets the leaf-nosed bats from others is that it can't crawl on thumbs and toes like other bats. But, as with many bat species, their predators include owls, snakes, coyotes, and raccoons. Number 5. Adult Proboscis Monkey Proboscis monkeys are the primate world's swimmers. They have even evolved webbed feet and hands to help them outpace crocodiles, which is one of their natural predators. They frequently leap from tree limbs and hit the water with a comical belly flop. 
And you might find this hard to believe, but male proboscis monkeys use their noses to attract mates. This outsized organ creates an echo chamber that amplifies the monkey's call, impressing females and intimidating rival males. Hey, whatever floats your boat. Number 4. Bearded Pig Looking at the Bornean Bearded Pig, you could tell how it got its name. These pigs have a well-developed sense of smell and use their snouts to dig in the ground and look for treats, which mostly consists of roots, earthworms, and fruits. This species is abundant in Borneo, an island in the Pacific Ocean, and it is the only native wild pig. Small subspecies can be found on nearby islands in the Sulu Archipelago, in the Philippines, and in the Malaysian mainland. Alright, we are almost at number one. Hang tight! Number 3. Long-Eared Jerboa This adorable little jumping rodent has the largest ears in the world, relative to its size, of course. They are about the size of your fist, but can jump several feet horizontally and vertically. It's the only way they get around. It's great for escaping predators, but takes up a lot more energy. This erratic jumping also works for finding hidden food resources, which consists of plants and insects. They also do not drink water at all. They get their moisture from the food they eat. There are 33 species of jerboa, but the long-eared jerboa has such big ears to help them keep cool. They are commonly found in desert areas, so as the blood moves through the ear, the heat easily dissipates from the blood vessels across the skin and into the air. Before we go any further, let's take a quick break and look at today's subscriber pick. Remember, if you find an unusual or mysterious photo online, you can send it over to us and we'll investigate. Is that a baby dragon? That's so cute. And look at its tail. So unique. Kind of like a leaf. Wait a second. That's a satanic leaf tail gecko. But those don't typically come with such big wings. However, they do have small wings when they are really small, but they fade away as they grow older. Here's the real deal. Number 2. Satanic Leaf Tailed Gecko Dragon. The piercing red eyes, tiny horns, and evil smile give it the name. The smallest member of the leaf-tailed gecko family blends in seamlessly in the Madagascar forest. They can be incredibly tricky to find. They can expertly camouflage themselves among dried leaves, sometimes with a foot sticking out to mimic a twig. But that didn't stop it from getting discovered anyway and becoming wildly popular as a pet. They eat different kinds of insects, flies, worms, and spiders and can also eat large insects because they have big mouths. All the more reason they make great pets, I think. Number 1. Dracula Parrot Despite its name and vulture-like features, the Pasquets Parrot, or Dracula Parrot, as it's aptly named, is actually not bloodthirsty at all. It feeds almost exclusively on just a few species of figs. It is a bird endemic to hills and forests in New Guinea. Its brilliant scarlet plumage that contrasts with the gray chest, back and tail, and its vulture-like beak makes this bird remarkable, and also a prime target for poachers. It's one of those creatures that become threatened before we ever knew they were even vulnerable. Well, that's it for this video. Did any of these surprise you? Don't forget to let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video and check out others on the Forever Green channel. See you in the next one.